So what's all this talk about the Fuhrer and Cleavage site and it being present in SARS-CoV-2 but not in other coronavirus variants? Well, essentially, if we zoom in on the S protein, the protein that the virus uses to attach to our host cell receptors of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, then we'll see that it consists of two subunits, the S1 and the S2 subunits, respectively. The S1 subunit it uses to attach to ACE2 receptors on our host cells, whereas the S2 subunit is used primarily to fuse the viral envelope with the endosomal membrane upon uh, clathrin-mediated endocytosis of the virus into ACE2-expressing cells. Now, in between the S1 and S2 subunits, we have two protease cleavage sites. We have the S1 S2, or furin cleavage site, and we have the S2 prime, or fusion peptide priming site. Now, the S1 S2 consists of a polybasic motif, meaning it has a motif of amino acids that are basic. And those amino acids are arginine, arginine, and aliphatic amino acid, and then another arginine, which the furin protease will be able to recognize and cleave, thereby exposing the S2 prime fusion peptide priming site uh, underneath it. Now, the S2 prime site, on the other hand, is a monobasic cleavage site, which is recognized by serine and threonine proteases like TMPRSS2. Now, that monobasic cleavage site has a motif of one arginine or lysine amino acid, which is recognized by the TMPRSS2 and cleaved, thereby allowing for the fusion peptide to be exposed so that the viral membrane may fuse with the membrane of the host cell. Now, there is research that supports the fact that the presence of the polybasic motif at the S1 slash S2 furin cleavage site can actually increase the virulence of the virus. It serves as a virulence factor of that, that will actually help the SARS-CoV-2 virus spread. And it wasn't very, very common to find such a polybasic motif in other coronavirus variants, although there are other dibasic motifs such as arginine, aliphatic amino acid, aliphatic amino acid arginine, which were identified in the MERS coronavirus back in 2013. But wait a minute, there's a catch. At the S1 S2 polybasic furin cleavage site, there are flankings by serine amino acids on both sides of the polybasic cleavage site. And what that means is that the furin cleavage site is a potential drug target for phosphorylation, which would then prevent the furin protease from reaching and accessing that polybasic cleavage site, thereby essentially reducing the virulence of coronavirus strains. 